Hello everyone, today we are going to solve another lead code problem. This is called sum of all odd length subarrays. So we are given an array as an input and we have to calculate the sum of all the elements of uh, all the odd length subarrays. Okay, so let's take an example here. Uh, in this case, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we are taking in this as an example and first uh, solution that comes in mind is a brute force approach so that is what we are going to uh, use in this particular problem right now and we'll probably look into the optimal solutions in some other video okay so we have to f find all the sub arrays of this input array first okay so let us do that using a brute force method let us take a sub array and we can use simply two loops so for i in range okay let us do this like n equals to length of error and n okay and for j in range i plus 1 to n uh, okay we can do something like this and sub r dot append error of i to j and print this sub array So, in this case, we should be able to see all the possible sub arrays of this input. Here we can see that this is 1, 1, 2, so on. So, we are able to generate all the possible sub arrays. So, what we have done is simply uh, we are starting from a particular element and we are calculating all possible uh, sub arrays that can be generated when the when that particular element is the first element of uh, any subarray okay so this is fine now to solve this simply what we can do is we can check at something like answer and if we simply sum this okay and when we we have to sum this when this j if j minus i is odd okay so basically the length of sub array is odd then we can do the sum so here we can return the answer and see if this is working fine so as you can see this is also working fine now next step is some kind of optimization at least a little bit because right now our solution is o of n cube time complexity because we are using this sum function and we are calculating this sum again and again in this particular range now see this whenever we have to calculate any kind of sum uh, in a particular range of any array we can use prefix sums so what we can do simply here is uh, let us first try to understand what prefix sums are then we can easily solve this uh, using prefix sum and at least the time complexity will be big O of n square and not big O of n cube there is also one more solution that uh, can be done in big O of n but we are not looking into that solution right now so let us first try to understand uh, prefix sums so let us take an input array so one two three four five now this prefix sum will be uh, so basically it is an array so we start from zero and then we calculate all the sum till a particular element so this is one this is one plus two is three this is three plus three is six six plus ten is uh, 6 plus 4 is 
uh, 10 and 10 plus 5 is 15 so what this prefix sum uh, gives is sum till a particular index so if we use pre of let us say um, this okay so uh, so this is index this index is what a zero one two so two plus one because we we have extra index here as a zero so we can put it here and we'll get six so we can see that uh, this elements have some six okay now if we have to calculate uh, some in this particular range so what we can do is we can do pre of uh, 4 minus pre of mm, So this index is ah okay wait a second so suppose if we have to calculate uh, something like uh, some in this particular range okay so the first index is one and the last index in this case is three okay now what we can do is to calculate sum in this particular range so we know that 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals 9 how we can calculate using this prefix sum so what we can do is pre of this last index okay so this is basically 3 plus 1 okay uh, and minus pre of this this index simply one okay so what we get is pre of three plus one that is four so this is four and one two okay three this is four okay so pre of four is ten minus pre of one is one so we get nine which is same as the correct answer so here we can reduce this uh, calculation of sum every time so what we can do is we can simply write a pre sum array okay start from zero all the elements and and calculate the prefix sum I plus one equals sum of I. of I. Here also we have to add it. Okay, so now what we can do is simply calculate pre sum of j minus pre sum of i and this should also work so as you can see it is also working fine and let us just submit this code so here you can see that we are successfully able to submit this code so this was just a brute force approach I hope that you have understood well, uh, thank you for your time.